We are making a classic that everyone seems to love and I am so excited to share it with you. We are making what is called a marry me chicken, which is essentially just chicken that's been sauteed and then simmered in a creamy Parmesan sauce with lots of sun-dried tomatoes, herbs. It is divine. You guys have been asking me to make this recipe for literally two years now since it became really popular on the web. I have things that are similar, but I figured I wanted to bring you the real thing because it is the new year. Happy new year to you which for me, the very beginning of the year is cozy food season. Let's be honest here. I live on the East Coast. It is cold. It, it is, you know, very gray out, drizzly almost every single day. And I look forward to cozy foods that sort of pushes me into happy foods come spring and summer. Um, and I wanted to, to share this recipe with you because it is really fantastic. I am doing this in my shallow Dutch oven. Um, it's a little bit beat up, but it's perfect. Don't you worry. And I've got some chicken breast here. Truth be told, I also like to do this with chicken thighs and I prefer it, but today we're gonna be using chicken breast and I'm gonna season both sides with some garlic and herb seasoning. This is my favorite. I'll have it linked down below for you. A um, little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then I'm going to pop it into my shallow Dutch oven that I've got a little bit of olive oil in there ready. I love to serve this with pasta. I, for some reason, really love angel hair with this because I feel like it soaks up that delicious sauce really nicely. But you can serve it with rice. You can serve it with any noodles that you like. Um, you know, no noodles at all. You can do mashed potatoes instead. It's just divine. Beautiful, like I said, cozy comfort food that the whole family will love and it will become a staple for sure. I went ahead and just, this chicken was really, really thick, so I went ahead and just sliced each chicken breast in half, and I got these four really beautiful pieces. Pop that in, and I'm gonna just go ahead, put a little bit more olive oil over there. I'm gonna go ahead and let those saute until they develop really beautiful color. I'm not so worried about cooking them all the way through as I am about them just developing color. And in the meantime, I'm going to chop up three big chunky cloves of garlic. Chicken looks good. It's not cooked all the way through, but it's developed color, it's seared, it's done what I needed to do. And most importantly, it's developed really delicious goodness at the bottom of my pot, which I want. Now to this, I'm gonna add a little bit of my oil from the sun-dried tomatoes. If your sun-dried tomatoes are not packed in oil, although you really should find some that are because those are so much better, then just use a touch more olive oil. I'm gonna add my garlic and to this, I'm also gonna add a small teeny bit, like not even a tablespoon, like maybe a teaspoon of butter. And I like what that does to my sauce. It just kind of reinforces that buttery, sort of creamy deliciousness that is going to be the sauce. Now in the sauce, we are gonna be adding a little bit of heavy cream, not much, it's just a third of a cup, but if you are feeling like new year, less calories type of thing, you can substitute the heavy cream with a little bit of coconut milk, but I would certainly use full fat just because you want that richness or it's just not gonna have the same consistency. It's not gonna have the same vibes, if you will. Now to this, we're gonna add our chicken stock and cream combined. And I also had a teeny tiny bit, oh, there goes my chicken base at the bottom. Uh, a little bit more of that garlic and herb seasoning in there. And I'm going to add my sun-dried tomatoes. This smells insane. It smells so good. My sun-dried tomatoes, like I said, they were packed in olive oil. They were not in a marinade. They're just packed in olive oil. And if you can't find those, just regular um, sun-dried tomatoes will be fine. Just rehydrate them a little bit in some hot water for like 10 minutes, just to make them a little less chewy. And now once this comes to a boil, which will not take very long, I'm gonna go ahead and add just a few leaves of basil to this. And then once it comes up to a boil, we will be able to add our partially seared chicken right back in. Make sure it's up to a bubble. I'm gonna add my chicken right back in. Beautiful, and it already smells delicious. All those drippings right in. And now I'm gonna partially cover this and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. I don't wanna overcook my chicken because we are using chicken breast so you're gonna have to worry about that. If you overcook chicken breast, it will get a bit chewy and tough, but if you were doing this with boneless, skinless thighs, you would not have to worry about that. Um, and they're also cheaper. 
I'm gonna let this simmer about 10 minutes and by then it should be perfect. My chicken is done. The sauce is sensational. It tastes incredible. You're gonna need to grate in some fresh parm in that sauce to really let it melt. I kind of just do it all over the place. And it is just, like I said, sensational. You absolutely need a bed of something that's gonna soak up all this deliciousness because it really is a thing of beauty. I'm gonna probably actually serve mine, like I said to you earlier, either over angel hair tonight or over mashed potatoes. I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna sneak in a taste right from the pot because you know why? Because I'm the boss, okay? And I'm the one who cooked it, so it's fine. It's also just me and my husband right now. <laughs> no one's gonna be eating from this pot. It is delicious. The chicken's fully cooked through. All it took was 10 minutes of simmering in the sauce and it is just heavenly. You cannot imagine. Taste the sauce for seasoning. I did and it did not need any additional seasoning only because remember we use chicken stock which can be quite salty. We season that chicken really well and then all of those salty bits that were stuck at the bottom of the pot, they all got released once we added the stock and the cream. So it didn't need any additional salt. And if I say that, that's gonna mean something. Honestly, spectacular, easy, delicious, under 30 minutes can be really wallet friendly if you are using a cup that's a little bit cheaper. And like I said, boneless, skinless thighs usually are, unless chicken breast is, it happens to be on sale, which is why I got chicken breast. <laughs> but it fits a lot of things in my life and I hope that you love it as much as we do. Full recipe on our in the kitchen.com. Check in the description box down below because I will link the pot for you and that garlic and herb seasoning that is an absolute must. Hope you enjoy spending time with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.